hi friends this is the another tutorial on machine learning video series so in this tutorial we are going to see about what are the different machine learning algorithms are there so before diving into what are the actual machine learning algorithm has been implemented inside this scikit uh, learn library uh, we will see about in designing the full machine learning system where we have reached so till now what we have seen is we have uh, seen the different uh, data set available inside the scikit-learn uh, library how did data has been organized what are the different characteristic of those uh, data set we have imported those data set uh, with the help of scikit-learn uh, li library after that we learned we learned about the numerical python library which is nothing but the array and matrix uh, manipulation uh, library we did uh, uh, couple of tutorials on pandas that is an advanced data analysis uh, library for the data scientists so we have just imported this data and we did some kind of small pre-processing uh, steps on the top of this data now the actual interesting part comes that after this data how you will apply this learning algorithm on the top of this data so based on this data you need to decide that what category of machine learning system machine learning algorithm you need to apply on this data so this is the general uh, practice that if you have a kind of labels available for the data you can apply some kind of clustering you uh, regression or classification kind of algorithm if, so that is a supervised way of learning in the machine learning system if you have if you have not available the data a label it as output of your uh, individual records you can use any clustering on unsupervised way of learning algorithm if you have a data available in a very high dimensional uh, space you can use kind of dimensional redu reduction related any kind of algorithm and you can apply machine learning algorithm uh, after that so uh, this sklearn library has given us some small cheat sheet that how you should decide this uh, algorithm so uh, let's try to understand this thing based on whatever the input data set we have available so what they are uh, saying that whole class of algorithm which is been implemented inside this sklearn library they have divided into total four categories one is the classification algorithm other is the regression algorithm there is one clustering algorithm and dimensionality reduction algorithm so this classification and regression kind of algorithm lies into supervised way of learning the system clustering is lying inside the unsupervised way of learning the system and dimensionality reduction is useful for if you have a data which is a very very high dimensional space so you can reduce those dimension of individual records and you then you can apply machine learning algorithm on the top of it so let's begin what they are saying that if you have a label data available you can use this a regression or a classification kind of algorithm so you want suppose the output value as a continuous value you can use any kind of regression algorithm which has been implemented inside this sklearn library like this linear regression or non-linear regression sgd regression lasso regression ensemble regressors are there there is svr there rich regression available so there is a whole set of families of uh, regression related algorithm has been implemented inside this sklearn library uh, suppose if you have mm, have a data as and labels are available but labels are a very discrete it is not continuous then in that case you can use this new base classification or kernel approximation classification k nearest neighbor classification algorithm or linear svc or is sgd classifier this the name just doesn't make sense uh, to you but once we go through individual uh, algorithm and we apply those algorithm on the top of data you will realize the immense potential of individual algorithm suppose you have a data available but you don't have a label associated with any kind of data so in that case you can have to go towards the unsupervised way of learning so 
डिस्कि मीन क्लस्टरिंग स्पैक्ट्रल क्लस्टरिंग जी एम एम क्लस्टरिंग मीन शिफ्ट क्लस्टरिंग मिनी बेज के मीन क्लस्टरिंग काइंड ऑफ अलगोरिजम हैज बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन साइड दिस एस के लर्न लाइब्रेरी एंड सपोज यू हैव द डेटा विच इज अ वेरी हाई डायमेंशनल स्पेस देन वी हैव अ दिस आई सो मैप कर्नल अप्रोक्सीमेशन स्पैक्ट्रल एम्बेडिंग एंड रेंडमाइज पी सी ए दिस इज प्रिंसिपल कंपोनेंट एनालिसिस टेक्निक यू कैन अप्लाई ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस डेटा सो दैट डायमेंशन ऑफ दिस डेटा हैज बीन रिड्यूस बट द क्वालिटी ऑफ डेटा स्टिल प्रिजर्व सो दिस इज अ वेरी वीक आइडिया अबाउट हाउ यू शूड डिसाइड अबाउट द मशीन लर्निंग अलगो रिदम विच आर ऑल इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन साइड दिस साइकिट लर्न लाइब्रेरी वी विल सी इंडिविजुअली ऑल दिस अलगोरिदम एंड वील अप्लाई वन बाय वन टू एनी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डेटा सेट एंड वी विल सी वॉट काइंड ऑफ एक्यूरेसी एंड एवरीथिंग वील अचीव सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस होल क्लास ऑफ दिस अलगोरिदम देर इज अ वन वेरी फेमस क्लास ऑफ अलगोरिदम विच इज नॉट इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन साइड दिस साइकिट लर्न लाइब्रेरी एंड फॉर दैट वी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज गूगल्स ओपन सोर्स वेरी फेमस लाइब्रेरी टेंसर फ्लो सो अनदर क्लास ऑफ वेरी फेमस मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिदम इज अ न्यूरल नेटवर्क अलगोरिदम दिस इज अनदर क्लास ऑफ फैमिलीज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिदम सो न्यूरल नेटवर्क अलगोरिदम इज बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन अ टेंसर फ्लो सो वी विल गो विद दिस टेंसर फ्लो लाइब्रेरी वंस वी कैम अक्रॉस दिस न्यूरल नेटवर्क अलगोरिदम इन द रिसेंट टाइम न्यूरल नेटवर्क बिकम टू मच इवन हाइप एक्चुअली एंड न्यूरल नेटवर्क अलगोरिदम इवन आउट स्पेस द करंट स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इन टू एनी डिफरेंट मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिदम एंड अमॉन्ग द न्यूरल नेट अलगोरिदम देर आर लॉट ऑफ लाइक होप फील नेटवर्क कॉन्वोल्यूशन न्यूरल नेटवर्क लॉन्ग शॉर्ट टर्म न्यूरल नेटवर्क एंड देर आर होल फैमिलीज ऑफ अलगोरिदम एंड विच आर वेरी फेमस एंड ऑल करंट रियल वर्ल्ड प्रोडक्ट्स दे आर यूजिंग दिस मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिदम सो फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम डिवाइडिंग we will start about the actual coding and i am dividing whole families of algorithm inside this five categories either regression classification clustering dimensionality reduction and neural network algorithm so for each section we will see at least 3 to 4 different different algorithm and for each algorithm uh, we will apply the different uh, data set the suitable data set associated uh, to apply uh, on the top of that algorithm on the top of this data so uh, this is all about the neural network algorithm so we have seen about we have imported this data we have then the pre processing uh, on the top of this data if required now we know about this algorithm we have done all pre processing uh, steps programming uh, related uh, which is bare minimum requirement for this machine learning design system in short we have uh, all the kind of resource available to code our first machine learning uh, uh, algorithm with the help of this scikit learn library so that's it for uh, this lecture from next lecture onwards we will see about one one set of families of al algorithm uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video keep like comment and subscribe it